I'm gonna take it nice and slow, and hopefully I'll be able to complete all 100 muscle-ups for the day. This is what my hands look like 20 muscle-ups in. They're gonna be destroyed in the next 30 days. I just keep doing five. Five, five, five. Anyway, enough talking. Let's do the 30-day review. The muscle up. To me, this is a little bit of a party trick. Some call it just a party trick that doesn't really do much for muscle growth, and others swear by it, incorporating them in their workout routines regularly. This bodyweight exercise combines pulling and pushing, and is challenging enough that many regular gym goers are unable to do one. And those who do try to learn one can take several months to do so with proper form. So is a challenging exercise like the muscle up just a useless party trick, or is it one of the best exercises to do for strength and muscle gain? That is the question that I'm going to be exploring in this video. How am I going to test this? Well, we've all seen people do 100 push-ups, pull-ups, and squats for 30 days, but no one has dared to do 100 muscle-ups. So that, my friends, is what I'll be doing in this video. But before I can get started, I have to take note of where my body is currently at. On day zero, here's what my body looks like. I'm in pretty good shape, but I could definitely put on some more muscle. My morning weigh-in is 145 pounds, and the maximum amount of clean muscle ups that I can do in a row is five. Lastly, the muscle up is pretty rough on the body, so I'm still going to do 100 muscle ups for 30 days, but I'll be taking as many rest days as I feel my body needs in between those days to avoid injury. This will also help me grow more muscle and strength since the body needs rest in order to do that. Now with all of that said, let's get started. I'm partially showing you my warm up and I'm also partially flexing. I don't know many calisthenics parks with a nice view like this. I'm gonna take it nice and slow and hopefully I'll be able to complete all 100 muscle ups for the day. Only five on that one. My hands are definitely gonna get torn up from this challenge though. They're already in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Yeah, I get it, my form is getting worse, uh, but I have no choice. On day one, I could only get 80 muscle ups my first try, so I rested up and finished the remaining 20 reps later that day. And my friends, is a wrap. Ooh. Definitely one of the toughest challenges I will ever do. So here's my post-workout meal. Some nice leftover pizza. All right, I'm only partially kidding. This is just a quick snack. I just wanna get some sort of calories in after my workout. My real meal, which is gonna be a beautiful, saucy, tasty beef stew, is still cooking up on the stove. After my workout, I ate a nutritious meal, and that concludes day one. It's currently 9.05 a.m. I slept in pretty nicely. I went to bed at about like 11.30, maybe 12. And you know what, surprisingly, I'm not too sore. As you saw on day one, my hands were getting pretty torn up from all the muscle ups. So the first thing I did on day two was buy some gloves. I have to be a little bit more strict and careful with my form. I can already feel a little bit in the elbows and the shoulders. That's a wrap on day two. Now my favorite part of this challenge, food. Oh, just uh, adjusting how I'm sitting here, not trying to flex. <laughs> The past three days I've been resting, didn't get enough sleep, I was still sore, so I just had to take the extra day off. But today is the third day of the 30 days of doing 100 muscle ups. Back home from day three, bull. 
little X right there to indicate that it was a day that I did muscle ups. I have tallies here that count all the days that go by. That way I know exactly how many days went by as I was doing this challenge and to make sure that I do all 30 days. I already ate my lunch when I got back. It was some chicken with potato pancakes. Now it's like 30 minutes later. I'm gonna have a little snack, some yogurt with some protein granola. I'm not feeling particularly sore. The only thing that I was feeling yesterday was almost like a slight impingement in my left shoulder. But it feels like it's gone now. I've been doing a lot of work with the foam roller. I'm gonna take it nice and easy on the last 10. Don't wanna injure myself, but I'm definitely resting the next two, maybe three days. After a solid four days of rest, I noticed a significant increase in pulling strength when I was warming up. Pull-ups now felt as effortless as push-ups were. We're only five days into this challenge and the results are already starting to show. Another rest day. Oh, how many days has it been? One, two, three, 15, 16 days. So it's been 16 days since I've started this challenge and I've only done five days of 100 muscle ups, wow. So although today is a rest day, I did just get back from playing some volleyball. Now I'm gonna have this beautiful brunch here, some lettuce on the bottom, and then on top of the lettuce, we have a little chicken style salad. Uh, so it's chicken, noodles, and carrots. I'm probably gonna eat like two of these right now since it's already 12.09 and I haven't really ate anything other than a little bit of yogurt in the morning. Hurts so bad. Look at these gloves. And look how torn up these gloves are. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. It is so hot. After doing day 11 and 12 back to back, I realized I wasn't sore. I'm not sore. Two days in a row of doing 100 muscle ups and I'm completely fine. So the next day, I did day 13. As I said before, doing so many muscle ups can be really rough on the body. So I went in and got a chiropractic adjustment to help heal oh, and loosen man. my body. Boom! The challenge was getting easier the more days that passed, and as a result, I needed less and less rest days between each muscle up day. Alright, as I was playing volleyball over here, I noticed out of the corner of my eye, there's actually a pull-up bar right in the corner there. You know what? I should be resting. You know, I should be. I, I, I don't know, I just can't resist doing my muscle ups right now. There's a pull-up bar like 50 steps away. I'm just gonna do them and play volleyball. I don't have my gloves though. I've been doing so many muscle ups recently that my hands been really hurting. So I don't know if I'll be able to do all 100 right now, but I'm gonna do my best. Woo. All right, that was just five. I'm gonna go play some more volleyball. I'll just keep doing five. Five, five, five. I'm gonna play volleyball at the same time.
I'm definitely not feeling as strong as I normally do on the muscle ups today. I found a new park, let's go. It probably gets pretty boring watching you work out at the same park every single day, so I found a new one. And what's great is that I forgot my gloves today, so yeah, my hands are gonna get torn up. kind of okay <laughs> at this point I should probably get some airpods anyway back to doing more muscle ups all right so for today I brought something special the Chris Heria weight vest I'm kind of curious if I can do a muscle up with the weight vest on this is either going to be an incredible success or I'm just gonna hurt myself and that's the end of this challenge Not a chance, dude. Oh my god, that's heavy. I'm gonna try again. I'm just gonna use a little bit extra momentum than normal. Yep, that's uh, just not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, it gets kind of lonely doing all these muscle ups by myself. I'm gonna ask the birds if they wanna do it with me. Yo, what's up, fam? Hey, anyone wanna go do some muscle ups? Are you guys not? I need a partner. Uh... Okay, fine. I I'll ask one more time, guys, please. Like, I'm really lonely. I. So be it. Okay, this is it. The last three days. Three. Two. Last day. One. Oh, my arms are on fire. All right, it is now three days later. The past two days I've been resting and loading up on my Transparent Labs protein. Use code Brandon for 10% off of your purchase. <laughs> the past two days I tried to rest as much as possible to ensure that I have fully maximized my gains from all these muscle ups. And now after taking those days to recover, I think it's finally time to reveal the results. How many muscle ups can I now do after 30 days of doing 100 muscle ups? On day zero, my maximum was five clean muscle ups. Let's see what it is now. Okay, now for the body results. I haven't seen the before and after myself, I still need to go record that. If I remember correctly, I was somewhere around 145 pounds at the beginning of this challenge. And now 58 days later, or pretty much two months later, I'm weighing in at around 152 pounds. And now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, the body reveal. What does my body look like after doing 100 muscle ups for 30 days? I definitely got some really nice results. I've even been noticing on my recent videos of people commenting like, dude, you're getting leaner, you're getting bigger. Now just a quick disclaimer, I didn't just do the 100 muscle ups only, I also did parts of my regular calisthenics workout routine and that's just to ensure there's no big imbalances in strength or muscle. Anyway enough talking, let's do the 30 day review. That's the reveal. If you do 100 muscle ups for 30 days, this is what you could potentially look like. If you got even the slightest inkling of motivation, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2020, so I'd really appreciate it if you could help me out with that and subscribe to the channel. 86% of the viewers are not subscribed. I literally just need one extra percentage to subscribe and I'll be at 100,000. You know, that reminds me, I recently tried the Russian Army Fitness Test. If you wanna see that video, it's right here. Extremely difficult. See if you can do it yourself. I failed a couple of the tests, but I passed the majority of them. So if you're curious to see what the tests are, if you maybe wanna try it yourself, check out the video. Thank you all for watching.
Peace out.